So you want to look at the average daily volume in the Thinkorswim platform. We're gonna to have to use ThinkScript to do that. Here I just pulled up a scan, kind of the default values here. I think I set a minimum return of 5%. This is after hours, so they're not moving. Uh, to put in the formula, I'm just gonna go over to the gear here and add a column, customize. And let's go with customize seven. It's a lucky number, I'll add that. And I wanna call it, call this column ADV 60, average daily volume for 60 periods. Apply, all right? Let's say okay, and move it over a little bit, bigger. Now I'll just right click on the name here and say edit formula to put in a good formula. The ThingScript editor lets you do it. I'm gonna say vol volume, AVG, average, length, put in the length that you want the volume to calculate over, 60 periods. And then this is the critical part, dot vol average, dot vol average, apply, okay. And what you get there is the average daily volume over 60 periods. And you can compare that to the current latest bar volume for each of these stocks. You'll see lower, it's higher. Some of these stocks had high volume days, some of them didn't. Um, so that's really all you need to do to, to get an average daily volume calculation in there. What you're probably going to do, the mistake you're probably going to make, is when you type in the formula, leave off that vol average thing. If I just said length equals 60, apply that, uh, I get the exact same number as the current volume. That's just how thinkorswim works. If you don't tell it to take the volume average explicitly, it'll just give you the current volume no matter what length you put in for the parameter. So be aware of that. Make sure when you write this formula up, you can uh, say dot vol average to get that, uh, that dot operator into the function. And then you'll have your average uh, daily volume that you can compare to uh, current volume to see how, how higher or lower than usual the stock is trading. Thank you.